It's like, hey, little baby demon, are you tired of being touched inappropriately by old ancestor? Yeah. Well, let's fucking get him, dude. Let's get him. I'm gonna I'm kick his ass here I go. Welcome, horrible people, to the Horrible Opinions Podcast. And as always, I'm your maybe cursed host, Kenny. I'm your fan of titty berries, Daniel. That, oh, I was like, where is he going with that? Now I understand. Uh, we should need a halpungio, Ryan. The fuck you call me? Huh. Don't worry about it. And today we are watching everyone's favorite movie from 1986, The Seventh Curse, also known as Win Chun Hap Yu Y C D. Okay, he said it, now I want to hear Ryan say it. I, I can't see it. What's uh, So you're saying the Cantonese title, right? Uh, yeah, I assume so, yes. He doesn't fucking know. It's just written there, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to pull it up. You pull it up. Where did you find the... Just right there on IMDb, dog. IMDb. Original title. Oh, boy. Exactly as it's written. Um, okay. Yin Chun Hap Yu Wai Si Li. He said it with an accent. That's offensive. I said it, you know, correct. I don't know that I said it correct. Look, this is... This is the movie. I'm so happy. <laughs> so I, I, I picked another winner? I mean, this is pretty good. So apparently this movie is, like, iconic for some people already, and this is one of those great gems that we missed, because I, I might have mentioned it before. I seen a clip of this uh, while watching the In Search of Darkness documentaries on Shudder, and I was like, oh, oh, first off, I seen Chow Yun-Fat, and then they were talking about some ridiculous shit going on. I'm like, okay, I, yeah, I gotta watch this. I was like, you know what? I gotta make you guys watch this, too. We're gonna watch this together. It's going to be a nice little treat, or it's going to be horrible. I'm going to come right out and say that uh, this is a hot take from Daniel. I don't like Hong Kong martial arts movies. For the, oh. for the most part. Oh. For the most part. How dare you? I'm waiting for the butt. Where's the butt? There is there is but, no butt. There's a butt. It's, oh. He loves Jackie Chan still, though, right? I said for the most part. So, But, but you like Jackie, right? Yeah, I like Jackie. All right. So you didn't like this one, or you did? I think he did like this one still. It's fine. Okay, so you don't like, you don't like, well, how do you feel about martial arts films? I love them. Well, you know where they come from, right? Yeah, I'm aware. And you, so, you, okay, then I'm, I... He, like, he only likes Muay Thai films. Oh, you're, you're an Ong Bak purist. Oh, boy. That's there, not it's, even it's necessarily begun. true, but... <laughs> it's we begun. Can, hold the, on, what would the our... The uh, has, our... has come out... That my seventh curse is ever so often my mush mouth will pop out of my jaws. What would our martial arts podcast be called? It's got to be Pokemon themed, obviously, so. Oh, does it? Oh, Ma Chumps. Uh, maybe, maybe Chicken Wing in it. Something like, you know. No. Roundhouse Chicken Wings. That's still not a Pokemon. Roundhouse Boys. It's kind of like Roadhouse, but Roundhouse. Oh, yeah. Roundhouse. And we never watch a movie that has a roundhouse kick in it. I guess what I'm saying is I like, like, the monster parts of this, where the, you know, where the guy's, like, flying around doing monster shit and crazy shit's happening, and I don't really care for anything else. But you, you didn't like when the fighting happened, but then they got tired of the fighting, so they just bring out a gun? That's, that's always good, but... I, so I, what you're saying is you didn't love this prequel to Big Trouble in Little China, where either, either Dragon or Dr. Wan Chin, uh... Is young Aikshin. I'm guessing it's Dr. Wan, because, you know, same last name, kind of. China's here. It, it, it's, it's, it's in the heart, too. Shall we? It's shall in we, the sh heart. It's in the heart. What's the synopsis? Someone give me the synopsis of this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a Daniel synopsis? I'm looking right at you, big Daniel. <laughs> you want to take the first shot? I'll take the first shot. A doctor guy uh, gets cursed while not minding his own business, forgets about it. And then a year later, he has to go back and not mind his own business some more and fuck up someone else's culture. <laughs> How's that? I mean, that's certainly a spin on it. That is something. I, I was just going to say, this is the movie where Chow Yun-Fat appears out of no nowhere to shoot a full-size demon puppet with an RPG twice. Uh, this is the movie where Chow Yun-Fat inspired Ada Wong's entire character arc. That's true! Okay. I yes. Hadn't thought of that. Yes. Yeah, this is this is a rabbit hole the, mm, by Daniel's synopsis. He really doesn't think uh, Indiana Jones is a real asset to the community, especially. No, in he's not. Doom. He's a dirtbag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, God. Um, uh, okay, it's okay, is Indiana Jones uh, putting these uh, cultural artifacts that he's finding in a museum in their old country of origin? Oh, fuck no. Oh, no hell no. He's there. grave robbing. Are you kidding? Yeah, making money, but they belong in a museum. Of their, con- of their country of origin, right? If they had a good one, sure. Whatever, man. <laughs> get, get better museums, you get to keep your stuff. All right, Kenny. You get to keep your stuff. You get to keep your. They had well, <laughs> they had their stuff perfectly fine in their temples. Why couldn't it just stay there? No one could see it there. The Why temple does worshippers see could see. Worshippers could see it, it just fine. Because it in a museum. I don't want to have to sacrifice a hundred babies to hang out in this temple, man. It's, you don't. You sacrifice a hundred uh, children so that your puppet can live another three years before needing Basically, a top off. Basically, this dude gets involved in some shit he shouldn't have gotten involved in, all because he sees a ridiculously attractive woman. Pretty much, yeah. Ba- Baku is bringing down civilizations all across the world. Who the fuck is Baku? Who is Baku? That's like her name. It's like it's like Bachu or this, Baku. So this is something Baju. we need to get out of the way. Quickly. Okay, what language? Is, what language did you a were the actors speaking, or and was there a dub? Was it subbed? How did you watch this? So mine was dubbed hilariously, so I didn't change it. Oh okay, no! What language do they speak in Hong Kong? Cantonese. This was a Cantonese film. Uh, there was apparently one character speaking Mandarin, though. Which do you know which one that was? Because the version I watched, I could tell that this was. They were speaking Mandarin in my version, which I could tell was not what they were speaking in the film because their lips didn't match up and it doesn't make yeah, sense lips, for... lips didn't match in my version. Yeah, it doesn't no, make sense for people right. in Hong Kong. They speak Cantonese in Hong Kong primarily, so... And... But, go ahead. Did the main bad guy, did the yes. evil sorcerer yes. in your version have a ridiculously high-pitched voice for yes, some reason? Yes, he did. Yes. <laughs> yeah, wait, did, wait, did you guys do English dub or no? No, English I did subtitles. I did subtitles. Okay, I don't, but, I don't so, think dub was even an option for me. So I was the only one that did English dub? Oh my god, you guys have to listen to the English dub on this. Is this like a Vampire Hunters level of good dub? Oh my god. Oh my god, it was so good. I was di- As soon as the, the sorcerer whatever guy opens his mouth for the first time, I was dying. Because that voice does not match his face, I guess, in any language. What, was he high-pitched? He was like this! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, but, exactly but softer. It. A little bit softer, yeah. but huh, it's like... Marriage. Marriage is what brings like, us together. I, I kind of want to like do some fake Asian talk, but that'd be racist just so I could do the high pitchness, but I won't do it. Oh my god, it was so good. If we when we get to that part, I'll try to do some real Mandarin talk for you if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, real Mandarin time, baby. Oh, all time, okay. you know. It. So, Kenny, uh... here. No, so, no. So, you before we started recording, you were talking about all these different movies that come after this based on these characters. Yeah. Okay. So I when I was I was like, who wrote this? This is insane. I love it. So I went and looked it up, and it's the guy's name is uh, Ni Kuang, and he was like born in China, got pissed off someone in the CCP long time ago, so he went to Shanghai so that they could what's the word? One uh, of you kidnap, smuggle, smuggle, so he could smuggle himself across the border into Hong Kong, where he lived and became a writer. I wrote a whole bunch of, of these books, and I'm trying to track one down in English. I can't find any in China or Hong Kong yet, but I'm on it. He's got, like, hundreds. Hundreds? This is... He's crank... He cranking these, these out like they're crab books? These characters are part... Uh, so, the Wesley character and the Dr. Yen character, they're part of a series. They each, like, have their own series, apparently. And they do adventures okay. together. Yes. Separate together. This fucking Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys? No, yeah. this is that guy that wrote the Witcher books, and we just need that English translate. We need a game to happen so that can spur them wanting to make all these in English, so because people want to read about this is our next big game. Well, I don't think we're right going to be allowed to get games from China for much longer. Mm, China's here. Plus, that guy's in Hong Kong. That's not China. He's also dead. Well, he died ask last China, year. Ask China if that's China. I don't ask China nothing. They'll always tell me it's theirs. <laughs> <laughs> I, I type the word, so the word for you, ni, I'm like, okay, I got, because it's not the same Chinese character, so I'm trying to figure out what the guy's Chinese character name is. When I type ni into my translator, this writer is the second entry I get. So he's like, very big deal. And he wrote this hmm. thing. I'm excited for this universe. I also just sent you guys a link Are to another books, movie. Are these books in English? No. 
Well, how the he, fuck he are we supposed said to read he was them? Looking for them? Not yet. I saw one on Amazon, pa- paperback English, but I'm I can get the whole series of these in Mandarin or just the Chinese characters, but that ain't gonna do you any good. Ask Chat GPT to translate them. I'm on it. Oh, good call. So there's another movie that came out that year called The Witch from Nepal that's also Chow Yun Fat dealing with a local tribe and magical powers that people often, I guess, watch in companion with this, even though it's not part of that series. But apparently it's just as ridiculous. We got a, we got a rabbit hole, fellas. I'm down for more of these. It's a whole thing. I, I'm going to try. I've got people in Hong Kong looking for English translations of this books for me I've right got now. I've people in Hong Kong. <laughs> I've, called it, I've pulled out all the stops. I'm sparing no expense. I've got my resources on it. Got people in Hong Kong. Because I got to know. I got to know what other shenanigans these characters get up to. There's probably a whole, like I said, it was, it was a, it's a okay, cult so film. Okay, so as an AI missed. language model, I am capable of translating text from blah, blah, blah to English. But the quality may not be at the level of a professional translator. If you have a specific book that you need to be translated, you can provide me with a digital copy, and I will do my best to provide you with an automated translation. So a- Amazon does have the Chinese versions of some of his books. I mean, would you pay, how much would you pay for a translation? For a translation? I'd pay a normal price. How, how much would you pay for price? a chat GPT translation? Uh, less than a normal price. <laughs> Is it That's... against the law for me to use Chat GPT to translate this, and well, then for me to put it. it on? No, I'm going to sell it, and then, and to then sell for it. me to well, put it yes, to sell yes, it on Amazon. Uh, pro, um, ask Chat GPT what it thinks of the situation. Okay. That's right. like asking China. You you can't do that. China wouldn't know. Is it illegal for me to sell? I guess sell a translated. I book? mean, obviously, the writer would have to get. The most of the money from that. You. Well, he died last year at the age of eighty-seven. Seriously? Yeah, oh, man. We, we have like just missed this guy. Oh man! Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't know what to do with that. So it, it panicked. Maybe it gets. Maybe it gets freaked out when you ask it things like uh, when you specifically say illegal. <laughs> Are you a cop? Are you a cop? I'm asking. If it's a cop. Chat GPT, well, yeah, you got to tell us if you're a cop or not. Are if you're a cop, you a cop? We, might, uh, we might have to set a bomb to help the hostages. So You have a reputation for being brave. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's, not, it's not a cop. We're good. Hey, Daniel, did someone call for a badass? Well, it's me, Dr. Badass. Yeah, they shoot at his feet and he doesn't give a fuck. Did someone call for a psychopath? Because it's me, Sally, the reporter who hits a cop in the back of the head with a brick. So are these... Uh, is this movie like secretly racist because every every everybody knows kung fu? What? No, they did it themselves. It's secretly racist because a white woman broke into his house and he's like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna dick you down." Well, no, no I think he I think he knew her. Is the thing? No, nope, barely. He could slay anyone he wants. <laughs> but Why everybody want in this movie knows kung fu. Not everyone. Those children every- who got. Smashed okay, well, so their no, juices we didn't could be- see. We didn't see their- they just lost the fight. We didn't see them fight. They did lose the fight. Fair enough. This movie begins with terrorists and police having a standoff, and that and does not classic, matter uh, whatsoever to the rest of the movie. Yeah, so it was the, for the first the 24 the minutes, I was bored and confused as to why we were watching this. You gotta have faith in me, dog. You know I ain't gonna let you down. Because you've got your fucking Counter-Strike match happening. And then it was that was the opening to the raid. Yeah, but that was good. This was great. This was this wonderful. The raid. I don't know. Also, I feel like Dale, if you watched this in the English dub, you would have been having an, a much better time. The reporter bricks the lady to the back of the head. She should and go that's to jail. Okay. okay. <laughs> she is the curse in this whole movie. She's Sally in my version. Okay. I believe she's Sally in mine as well. Yeah, Sally, our psychopath reporter, who will do anything to get the scoop, including taking a brick and knocking out a fellow, well, a a female police officer just so she can put on the fake nurse outfit to infiltrate the terrorist group to plant the bomb to get the scoop. That's dedication, Daniel. She'll do anything, including mowing down a bunch of people with an AK, you know? That's commitment. She's a freaking psychopath, man. She's like a over-enthusiastic middle school paper reporter, and she's going to bully her way into a freaking story. And the thing is, she's played by freaking acting legend Maggie Chung, and I'm just like, this is so weird! I've got Asian is- blindness, so I couldn't... I didn't know that. You, you've they seen They all her. look the same. 
Oh, Crouching Jesus. Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Daniel. You've seen her. Yeah, I know who it is. Yeah, that, that's fucking Maggie Chung. That's a young, young. <laughs> Maybe it's just a young thing then that me no recognize. I recognize Chow Yun Fat. His face hasn't really changed in 100 years. No. Yeah. He's, he's a secret billionaire. The only time I've seen her younger than this movie is Police Story. And that's only a year younger. Such a, ah, she drove me crazy. I would have, Maggie, I love you. I would have killed you early in this movie. I would have just let you die. I would have pretended that I've never seen you here. I would have told Chow when you showed up, oh, your cousin's here? That's funny. I told her not to come. I told her not to go a lot of places, but she kept doing it. Well, I mean, whose business is it to tell her where to go, you know? I mean, now he feels responsible, and he shouldn't have. Look, the doctor, though, saves the day because he's a badass doctor. Gets us out of So we just established he's a badass doctor. This is like showing up in a, in a, a superhero fight right at the start of the superhero movie just to establish that we're a superhero. Now we're going to go establish his sexual prowess when he goes back to his house. And, well, you know, you're, you're, you're skipping the most important thing that this movie gets us, which is a very important theory. Do you know where I'm going with this? On no. the On the effects of climate on your oh, uh, sexual yeah, uh, intercourse length, the duration. Yes, of course. This? Daniel. Yes, I was at the party. Oh my gosh, come on. The climate is messing with men's sexual prowess. Clearly, if you're in the Arctic, you know, it's not going to be as good or something like that. It was These two old fucking doctor dudes are like buying hard into this. And then one of them sees a, a, an attractive lady across the way and he loses his fucking mind. He's the reason that women can't show their shoulders in school because he can't fucking pay attention to anything else. He runs over there, and now in my version, he's all about, oh, I can see that you're a Virgo. And I'm like, you got it, dude. <laughs> you're you're going to, you, you definitely, you get laid all the time. And then we cut to our hero, Dr. Man. It's over there. I've got a shrunken head and a toe necklace. Yeah. Those like, are some, a hell of some icebreakers, if I ever heard any. And then, then Psychopath Reporter shows up, which I love her hair in this. And she's like, I'm writing the story. I need a nude photo of you for a story to show that you're a hero. Did you get that in your version? No. That's what it said. In my, <laughs> everyone needs to watch the English dub, I promise why, you. Why would she need a nude? <laughs> I have no idea. I didn't well, make well, that Well, hold on. Up. We don't know what magazine she's working for, right? The Western Daily. Oh. Playgirl. Well, I, it wasn't a real, well, not a real one. What I noticed very quickly is that the, for my version, the Mandarin that they're speaking is not necess- I mean, of course, it's not a direct translation for the English, but sometimes it's like the English is adding more details than what the, they said so, in Chinese. They're flourishing it up a bit. Why is it not in Cantonese? I don't know why mine is not. It's what Amazon gave it wasn't me, dog. Even, it wasn't even an option for me. Me neither. I would prefer their original voices because I don't remember Maggie's voice being that annoying. Everybody was very high-pitched. The English dub was perfect. This is like some sure. Japanese Goku bullshit. It might not even have been an English dub. I think they might have just been speaking English. I don't know, man. They do that sometimes, don't they? Sometimes they do. Hmm. Look, we get a chase scene leaving the party because the doctor doesn't, like, the doctor had a chance to dick someone down. The reporter ruined it. He's out of here. He's flustered. We get a car chase because somehow, so, I'm just going to keep calling her Sally, the reporter, just, I don't care if that's your names or not. I think you said they were, but whatever. <laughs> she just keeps popping up. It doesn't matter how big a head start anyone gets. She's already fucking there. She's the sunshine, you know, on the on the ground or whatever, the wind in your hair. She's the whisper she's, in the wind? Yeah, she's fucking everywhere, man. So, <laughs> get a car chase. He just gets out of his car, and he puts one of those fancy jacks that are, like, it's an airbag that you fill with your exhaust. Yes, that's a real thing. Before you ask, Daniel, I'll see it on your face. No, I was just going to ask, like, you just keep that in your car? Yeah, it's a car jack. You put it in your exhaust, and it blows up the bag so you can change your tire. Why don't I have one? Because I think- Why have I never I seen one before? I don't think they ever really caught on. I don't think they were completely practical. Maybe they are. There's, there, I feel like there was some issue with it, but we're not car people. Well, so it's I probably the you. issue of you fucking collecting all that exhaust, right? That's probably not good. You have to suck it back out to deflate it. That's probably the issue. You got to suck it out with your mouth, yeah? Oh, man. Did, did your guys' music fucking slap? Yeah. Oh, this soundtrack is great. Oh, it's so good. We get to his house. Boobs. Random ass white chick. Get her out of here. Yeah, get her, out get her, of her here. I don't I want her in my movie. I, I don't want a single fucking white person in this movie. We've had better in this movie. Not white people, but, you know, 
So, are- so he comes into his house. He thinks someone has broken into it. He clearly has rifles on the wall, but does he grab one of those? No. He goes and gets a he statue. Need them. Is uh yeah. is Hong Kong the only place that loves guns just as much as America? Maybe more. No, I hear Australia loves guns as well. Do as they? Lo- oh yeah. Okay. Australia has pretty tight gun laws, I think. Oh yeah. They do now. There are so many guns in this movie. <laughs> there are so many because when the kung fu fails, you need the guns. Also, you guys ever, you know, walk into your house and you see like a random ass, like mostly naked lady and you just go, well, fuck it. When an opportunity knocks. I just assumed he knew her. I, I'm in my version. He didn't. She she seen him and she broke in. This is the version of my head. Oh, so okay. now my version is she she explains that she's paid the the maid off the maid, uh, the IE off, giving her a thousand Hong Kong dollars and you said, know, take the night off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah 20 bucks. Still yeah. a night off. But, I mean, come on, when an opportunity knocks, that's his line, not mine. He's about to get some, but never mind, fight time. Because people just appear in places. Like it's been six 20, minutes without any kung fu, okay? 20 people just appear in his fucking house. And you know what? How many glass tables does he fucking own? Because we break like seven of them. Not only that, he has a, a little brook, a river, running through his yeah, it's apartment. Pretty, it's pretty nice. I cannot imagine how expensive this apartment is. He's a doctor. He's a world-renowned hero doctor. No. 80s in Hong Kong, you'd probably get that relatively cheap now, though. Maybe. He wins the fight, but then he finds Dragon. Dragon's there. That's a guy. That's his name and mine. Well, that's after they bang. N- no, that's before. Oh, wait. Dragon tells him not to bang. That's Dragon's right. so there Dragon because says... he's like, you've got the blood curse. It's been a year. You got to come back to Thailand. Renew yeah. your membership. Everything will be fine. <laughs> By the <laughs> he way. He forgot he had a blood curse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he forgot. And there's ghost spells. And then he rips his shirt. He's a shirt ripper. He's a, I said shirt ripper. <laughs> shirt ripper. But also keep away from sex. But also immediately has sex. Yeah, not a good listener. Pop Shit, goes that he leg. Relapse. Veiny as fuck. Yeah, he's got bullets coming out of him. Ah, and so then you fun. know who we get after that? Fucking Chow. Every time Chow showed up, like Chow's my best friend. Chow's my best friend too. Chow's so handsome. Yeah, when Chow's there, I'm like, good. Chow's there. When Chow's not there, I'm like, where's Chow? <laughs> Chow. <laughs> Chow believes in science, not witchcraft. We have that going on a lot in America right, these days. Right, but then he later I'm engages in witchcraft. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You can dabble in both. And then we get a flashback. A long flashback. Straight I to feel like boobs. we could have lost the first 22 minutes of this movie and then just started with this flashback. We had to explain, though, that the doc is also a badass. Yeah, and how are you going to get that unless you get the scene with Tara shooting at his feet? Exactly. Now, he drops his binoculars because he's seen a total smoke show in the water. Jesus Christ. Right? He did Best drop them. Best movie we've watched. Yeah, and they were fine when he dropped them, but then she broke them. You can't trust a woman with valuable objects, like your heart. <laughs> oh, well, she was already... She, <laughs> she she was not up for grabs, Kenny. She was already in a relationship with Dragon, and that, I, look, and that little sorceress with the high-pitched voice made Dragon go oh, away. Duh. And more importantly, she's in a relationship with the with God. With God. Nah, Look. I don't think she didn't seem too into God at that point. Well, she's, it's, not a, it's not a two-way thing, you know, but whatever. Yeah. Welcome to the worm tribe. We've got fun <laughs> yeah. It's a tribe of the worm. Yeah, our doctor in the flashback sees a lady coming out of the water, and she's, like, doing her best wet t-shirt contest, and, uh, what was her name in your guys' version? Baju. Baju. Yeah, mine was, like, B-A-C-H-U. B-A-J-U. Yeah, so close enough. We'll just call her Ba. Let's I'm call her Baja something. Blast. I'm gonna call her Baja. Yeah, Baja, Bl- Baja blasted out of the water, showing her tater tots <laughs> through her white t-shirt, and our doc was like, "Oh shit!" And then, oh yeah, hell, was, I'm gonna murder a whole tribe for you, baby doll. Don't you worry. Pretty much. And you know what? The white guy leading the venture there warned him of the witchcraft of the local uh, worm tribe, and by that he means the women are too sexy and they refuse to lay with him. That's the witchcraft. It's always witchcraft. I don't think Fucking that's what he was tribe. talking what, about. No, that's, look, I know white people. Why does the worm, worm <laughs> tribe have steps? <laughs> look, he knows what? white people, okay? okay? I don't understand. Why I think he worm... might be projecting a little bit. <laughs> a little bit? Okay, okay, fair enough. <laughs> There's no projecting. It's fine. Why do worm tribe have statues of things that are not worms? 
Why do worm gods have arms? They're not worms. Also, as soon as I seen the the leader of the worm tribe, I thought that was like an the guy. They they're like, let's take this guy, let's make him look like he's in Twisted Sister or something. Like they dressed him up like an '80s glam metal front man. It yeah, was hilarious. Also, that's when I you know he talked, and that's when I'm laughing at his high ass pitch voice. Uh, that's when I went. Did I get a? Have I gotten like a? Are they taking the piss out of me with this thing? What's happening? I was, I was wondering if I was watching the right movie. I'm glad we were all kind of confused. I mean, I knew what I was getting into, kind of, maybe. The cult leader pulls out this dull fucking little dagger thing and then makes this cute little guy come out. <laughs> well, look, like, the, like the, the real- puppet had to come out because we need a number of sacrifices for old ancestor because old ancestor is going to wake up. Old ancestor. It's going to be hungry. It's gonna be hungry. <laughs> Yeah. We don't have a microwave in the temple to get him some Hot Pockets, so he needs something else to eat. And you know what? This is their version of the sorting hat. You put it in front of someone. If it glows, you're the you're going to be, you're going to honor old ancestor by no, having him gnaw I, on your neck later. I feel like there's, like, this is a glow, like a lightsaber dagger, and you push a button and it lights up. Well, clearly that's the prop, yes, but in the reality no, of no, the no, film. No, 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 he was picking... No, Daniel, think of yeah. all the magic he did. He, he wanted did her to magic. get eaten. No, he definitely did magic, but he wanted her to get eaten. I'm just glad that old ancestor wakes up hungry and not horny, because this could have been a much different movie. Well, you're not Maybe sure what Japanese. happened at the end when he and um, You know what? I'd like Aquila to see that movie a too. Alone time. Mm, that's fair. So we get this weird little like puppet worm guy that comes out. And he's, like, freaking adorable. It's like a real basket case situation. Yeah, yeah. And then it rips right through someone. <laughs> it's so good. He's so powerful. He's very powerful. He's very powerful. We're jumping some scenes here. And Who cares? These, We're these, jumping to no, the good I'm saying, scenes. I'm saying, like, these sets are great. Every time they show a new location, I'm like, this looks fantastic. But old ancestor, it's time for you to arise. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> chilai, chilai, chilai. He's got a cute little the bang noise on his when head. he was like pouring the blood on the on the tomb. That was re- I thought I really liked that good noise. Oh, it just has the sounds of the chains, <laughs> it's, it's the sounds of the good. splashing, the squishing. Everything is oh, it's so delicious. Uh, gentlemen, if you walk into a temple and you see a skeleton just rise up by itself from the grave and then just freeze there standing, do you a approach it? B, walk away. C, maybe just stand where you were away from it. Run away, run away. Well, no, because we, I think, I don't know, we have established if this happens, that means we also have superpowers and we can win this fight. Mm, that's true. Well, he thinks the same thing. The doctor just walks right well, up he does to have superpowers. <laughs> that, that skeleton's so fucking strong. And he's shooting him in the face and shit. And then he like, he gets away from a second. Then the skeleton flies across the fucking screen and punches him. And then he goes flying. It's pretty good. And then he does some chops. And then we're trying to free uh, uh, Baja Blast. And then the other dude that's trapped. And Doctor gives up early freeing the other dude. We don't really give a fuck about him. Well, let's be honest. He was never there for the other guy. Right. He's never there. And then the old ancestor fucking... Bends uh, the other dude's head forward like a backwards Pez dispenser and starts chomping down on his spine. I don't know how good your guys' quality was. Mine was fantastic. I could clearly see the strings on Old Ancestor. I didn't see any strings. Ooh, I didn't see any strings. Yeah, mine was a really so good I just like, thought, 1080p. I just thought, you know, uh, that was Old Ancestor. It, well, I mean, he's mm, he he is just Old Ancestor. But then he, when he chomps down, he's now he's less cute. He's a lizard man. And then it turns out he's like a bat lizard man. Yeah, he gets, he he levels see up that after he eats someone. Yeah. Well, he's you, like you kind of start going to his it. next form. Yeah, right, I right. think he's like a cousin to the monster from Split Second. Sure. Quick thing that you you could have missed is once Aquila has poured the blood onto the tombstone, and if you look at the wall behind oh, the, it, the heads and the faces. Yeah, the faces in the wall are all going manic and nuts. Yeah, that was sick. This is a good movie. It's, you see it for us, like uh, maybe maybe two seconds, and then they never they don't linger on it at all. It's either a, a catch it or you don't. And oh, I love it. So good. Now, okay, you're running away from the crazy cultists 
who have, again, they're out, there's like hundreds of these fuckers. They've just manifested again. They've all got flaming spears. They're chasing you. Do you A, keep running, or B, go inside your tent? I go inside my flammable tent. Look, Dr. (laughs) Young has killed everyone on this expedition by trying to save one sacrificial lady. And I'm okay with that. Look. Why? Oh, blast is what's <laughs> Why up. are you okay with that? I'm okay because we get this awesome Daniel. So much fire, so many people getting run over, and just it's a, oh my god! Oh, their jeep style of martial arts is fantastic. Yeah, yeah jeep kata, it's pretty good. No, old ancestor Daniel. Let me tell you why it's okay to kill all these people. They all listen to old ancestor, and you know how old ancestor is. He's That's very true. racist. That He's is very true. Sexist. He's a little hands on with the waiters. And waitresses. When like you, when you pretend, well, when a white person pretends to be a black person, that's blackface. When a black person pretends to be a white person, that's whiteface. What is it when uh, one Asian pretends to be a different Asian? I give up. What? Well, I don't know. I'm asking. Do they care? Do I don't know. I'm asking. I don't what? know. Does a British person care if I do a bad British accent? I imagine they would. I imagine they do. Yeah. But you know what? do it anyway colonizers <laughs> man this this fucking movie the they get okay so obviously going into the tent wasn't a wise choice but they cut out of the tent but eventually they get into the jeep they try driving away that crashes after like these uh, tribe members continue to like world war z zombie them the doctor and then the guy leading the expedition are both tied up now the priest dumps the, well, I can only guess it's the tribal cum bowl all over <laughs> the fucking uh, expedition leader's face and it melts his flesh and worms come out of his body, as one would expect. It didn't melt his flesh. He peeled his flesh back because there were uh, now worms underneath it. Yeah, you don't want worms in there. Uh, that made, you know, the doc, uh, he worms. grew up a little bit. Like, I understand And Iguana's that. favorite. That's right, Daniel. Dale knows worms, okay? He's an expert at night crawlers. They're actually not a worm. World champ. Your mother's not a worm. What are they? It's a beetle larva. Oh. Oh. I'm still going to call it a worm. Oh, sure. They're they're still called mealworms. And then the cult leader dude is like, yeah, well, check this out and pulls out a, (laughs) a thing. A globule. I think it was the bullets inside one of his men. That's why it was like a weird exploding bullet curse. Yeah, yeah, he pulled, he pulled the he pulled the bullets out of him, and, and then it's like, check it this out, check this magic. You think I'm gonna say some magic bullshit? Nah, eat a bullet, Just shove bitch. It in, eat it, eat it. No balls, you won't. Yeah, the doctor manages to escape by kicking a magnifying lens and pointing light at his rope until they yeah, burn. But it was it was nighttime, so it where's... was firelight. Don't even worry about it. There's the sun's the not moonlight's out. pretty bright. There's no such thing as moonlight. I'll point Daniel, that out. Daniel, we just did battle with old ancestor. Can you give the movie a little bit? No, I'm, the, just, I'm the, just saying mo- there's no such thing as moonlight. Look, Dale, the worms are highly prolific. I wouldn't use them on you. Don't worry about it. What the fuck that's does that mean? In, that's what it says in mine. That's so what I he says. He, he does say that. I just don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, God. Well, in, okay, in Chinese, I thought away. he said they were pretty quick acting. That makes more sense. But I can't that entirely make, because sometimes when he talks because of the high-pitched voice he's using, I can't always make <laughs> sense of it. Oh, Lord. Well, the doc gets out of there. He gets found by uh, Baku, <laughs> Baha Blast, and she pulls a breast cancer tumor out. Yeah, she feeds him a titty berry. Yeah, Sam calls it a titty berry. I thought it was a tumor. She just, she just cuts open the top of her what boob she, What did she call out. it? Her talisman? I don't know. It was like something that I'm, from the impression I'm getting, it's something that a lot of them there have. Do all women have titty berries that I'm just unaware of? Cut one open, find out. Look. If, if I eat a titty berry, will I get superpowers? Oh, of course. Any berries will give you superpowers. Eat your berries, children. He wakes up and it's like, it even cured my blood stains. Like, not just the, <laughs> the wo- wounds, like it wiped him off his clothes. And then, you know what? Flashback over, we're back. Chow. And then he's like, hey, Chow, when I slept with this white woman who broke into my house, bullets fired out of my leg. <laughs> fire away, fire away. <laughs> and then we find out that Gracie Law, I mean, Sally, <laughs> is Chow's cousin. So that means we can't get rid of her. She's going to be in the rest of the movie. But we just told her again, no, you can't come with us back to Thailand. But it's a good thing she did. She brings all the guns. Yeah, we got a fucking gun piano. 
a sick laser sight. She shoots in the apartment. That's not okay. The doc says, these guns won't hurt, help against magic. And I'm like, well, it'll help against shooting dudes. There's lots of dudes there last time. But also, those guns totally did help against magic. Oh, they help big time. <laughs> Even the rocket launcher. But uh, the doc still doesn't want to deal with Sally. I don't blame him. <laughs> he hog ties her on the bed, puts some tape over her mouth. They should have done that in Hong Kong. Yeah, probably. But he still, he meets up with Dragon. Dragon pulls him in a building. And he's like, I've been pursued. So I've been like hiding and stuff. Immediately, 50 fucking people in this tiny building that Dragon didn't realize her fault. Dra <sighs> Either these people can like <laughs> fucking have all invisibility cloaks so they can fucking teleport or Dragon has horrible hearing. Well, no, Dragon has no periphery vision is what it is. No so. periphery oh, vision? Like, oh, that's too yeah, bad. Yeah, it's close enough. Like all other lizards. Yeah. So, Oh, course, there is the a Dragon in the movie. The guy's name is Dragon. Yeah, the guy's name's Dragon. Right, okay. But then, you know, Sally shows up. She helps. She knows gun food. Well, hold on. Do you think, like, his parents named him Dragon? Or does oh. he just call himself Dragon? I mean... No, his can parents I name named my, him Dragon. Can I name my kid Dragon? Sure. Sure. Do it. Get you one. Look, now, okay, we've established, I guess Sally's coming. Hold we on, what's the name of the dragon in uh, Dragonheart? Oh, Frank. All right, I'm going to name my kid that the name of that dragon. Quit saying Frank. I, it's my go-to. <laughs> Big gay dragon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, look. Now we're walking through the jungle, and then booby traps. The one booby trap thing. Well, no, we should use a different word because we had we, these. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, don't. Uh, no mouse trap. No, don't wake daddy. No mouse trap. Yeah, don't game don't wake daddy. Don't wake daddy. Whole bunch of don't wake daddy traps. Whole bunch of don't wake daddy traps. The freaking two tree rope trap tore that guy in half. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. It did. It did. Then we get the classic like spike trap like sandwich things going on. And then Sally shows up because everyone's dead. And she's like, you guys just look, look, I know traps, okay? I studied in America about Thailand. I studied all about, no, she did not no, say Thailand. No, not Thailand. What she she said Vietnam. Well, oh, she, the Viet Cong. The Viet that's Cong. Right. Yeah, I know. Which, bitch, you don't I even know, know where you are right now. Yeah, I don't, guys, look at me. I can be here. I studied in America. I know the mousetrap don't wake daddy game. I studied about <laughs> Viet Cong. <laughs> And then she sets one of the traps off, so she does. So, there you go. Shouldn't like, she have see? studied in Vietnam for that? Oh, God. She's like one of those war reporters, though. She goes up with her fucking disposable camera and takes a picture of the guy spiked up on the trap. Like, ah, oh, she's got no chill, man. She sucks. I think I would kill Sally at this point. The vibe of this is very... The closest thing I could say is Evil Dead 2. Oh, con yeah, for sure. Right? Because it's not... None of this, it's not taking itself seriously. Uh -huh. The earlier we watched someone kung, try to kung fu fight uh, a puppet skeleton, and it was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking a lot about Evil Dead too. Yeah, I was. Uh, this made me think a lot of things. Honestly, I was like, what if, what if Operation Condor happened, but it just like they went harder with it, like this. I was thinking like Uncharted meets Evil Dead. Like I can see a lot of things that are potentially inspired by this movie, and honestly, the cult leader guy. Turns out, I, I've been seeing that image of him, like, popping up and things, and I've never known what the fuck he's from. I recognize that character. Like, not the actor, like, him done up in that, like, outfit. I've hmm. seen that before. Multiple times. Never thought anything of it, and I should have. This is on me, guys. We should have seen this years ago. Now, in your version, did the doctor threaten to pull down Sally's pants and spank her bare ass? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put him over okay. her knee, give her a spanking, and for some reason, she took offense to this. You dirty old man. I don't think she actually did. She wants him to do it. Everyone wants the doc to do it. He slays all the poon all the time. She's like, you dirty old man. He's like, yeah. Yeah, I am. So maybe you should leave before I get dirty. And <laughs> then she does. She exits very quickly. Falls down a hole. hole. <laughs> and he's like, well, Guess she left. Well, problem <laughs> solved. <laughs> solved. Well, she's gone. Okay, but we definitely got to say Baja Blast. Well, maybe maybe she doesn't look so good anymore. But she says the doc is an angel, and she's right. Because, you know, but, but Baja Blast is covering half her face. He's now, not so an I angel. He doesn't have enough eyes to be an angel. You haven't checked his brown eyes. Mm. We never see his ass in this. I'm just saying. Why did we watch this? Missed opportunity. Missed opportunity. But somehow, Baja Blast has been chilling here for this last year, near the people that tried to kill her, I guess. 
So I guess at some point half her face from the ghost's curse got melted. But she was big chillin' though. Just, you know, whatever. But I guess we're gonna gear up now. We gotta rescue Sally. That's and true. And so we go. We, we go with the classic Jeep attack again. It's worked so well so far. So fucking... Hey, I, if I could jump in. So they're... Once they go back to the village, Dragon is talking to maybe one of the vil- village elders who's telling him that all the children have disappeared since mm-hmm. midday. Mm-hmm. Just up and vanished. Yeah, they're all gone. And then Dragon and Baju are telling Dr. Young that the eyes of, or you have to go to a cave and to a Buddha to get the secret ingredients, which will cure your blood curses before you die. And... Then, oh God, this movie is so crazy. But okay, so then we have the arming up themselves scene to go get Sally. Did you see when that Jeep drives through the Worm Tribe uh, straw buildings? An explosion? Not just an explosion. It, the Jeep smashes through a straw house and clips one of the actors and just sends him flying. <laughs> and I don't think that was a stunt. I think that was just someone Whoops. who got just wrecked. Yeah, they can't make these movies anymore. I did not see that. Oh, it's in... Because they shot the scene from three different angles and only did it once. And I'm looking at each time and it. everyone else gets out of the way. The, the Jeep hits him and he... I There's no way he's on a harness or something. No, he got smashed. <laughs> Jeep Kata, too strong. Funnily enough, though, there's no goofs listed for this movie, so it's actually a perfect movie. Well, who the 100%. fuck is gonna tell? Who the fuck is gonna tell you about the goofs? I will. IMDb. You want one of the goofs? So, in the very what I think is a goof in the scene where Sally hits the female cop on the back of the head, I see what looks like already a little bit of the reddish brown brick color there, on her. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah, as well. so mm. I, that's the second take. She's already done it and they just didn't remove the dust god her her poor head you know what i'm saying all i'm saying is this movie had the had the ability to like hit someone with a jeep and i think it should be proud of that that is one thing i do like about hong kong uh, martial arts movies is they don't give a fuck if you get hurt then they throw these grenades that look like tomatoes well those are yeah those are he grenades ah they're all tomato grenades got it Mm mm-hmm and then, let's see, we've seen the kid juice press. Oh, yeah, all the kids are dead. We find <laughs> you Sarah. Get the, uh, you get the seat. Or Sally. The kid get dropped into the juice press. Yeah, they dropped two kids. We don't even flinch. They're just like, eh, whatever, we're here for uh, Sally. <laughs> baby juice. <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Fuck them kids. We get Sally. We bring her back. She wakes up in a murderous mood. But that's just how she normally wakes up. Like, she does a vampire, like, just straight stand up in the air. While the doc is looking away. So good. And then she starts attacking. We wrestle her down a little bit. Chow shows up. He's back, baby. With the army. (laughs) We give a a curse breaker injection. And then Baja Blast shows up and says, we need to drain the blood of all black things around here. Now that's not okay. She lists off like 20 black things. I know she does. And I was waiting. Yeah. Like, I was like, please don't. Don't do it. Have you never had black chicken? No. So in uh, China, when you're sick, what they'll do is because they, they'll think the, the black skin chicken is more medicinal for you. So you'll, they'll go cook you chicken soup, but it'll be a, a black chicken. And that's based on uh, science, right? Of course. Look, yeah, the, the, the cure for this is to boil the, the blood of black animals and then stick you in a, in a, in a boiling bath. bath. Of oh, that blood. bath looked so fucking comfy. Didn't it? And then the it turned steam into rising milk. off of it. She just chilling in it. She woke up scared that she was in a bath of milk. I think it would have been more terrifying if it was still blood. You know, and well, Sally has seen people shot, stabbed, impaled, and torn in twine at this yeah. point. But this is what part of the movie I don't really buy. I can't get huh? on board. She's scared is scared when... of Baja Blast's face, right? Yeah, I'm like, what's wrong? It's fine. Look, none of those are women, right? I'm sorry? What? None All the who? people she's seen hurt, none of those are women. That's true. I think that's true. Oh, now it's too real. It's too real now. Too real. Too real. That's going to happen could, to me. They could melt half my face. Oh, I no. I thought this was man's problem. Turns out, Wim- Worman's getting hurt, too? Worman's getting hurt, too. Look, at this point, I've really said Sally is the worst curse. She doesn't go away. She doesn't go away. So then fucking Chow and his assistant are like, look, I know how to deal with this. Hold on, is that his a- assistant or his wife? I don't know, man. Same I thing. wasn't clear. I thought it was wife? I think it's his wife. 
wife's assistant. Wife's look, assistant. She helps. Look, yeah, Kenny. Look, I got I got this demon puppet coming, Kenny. I got a demon puppet. It's coming. <laughs> and what do I need? What kind of trap Black do I need? Black dog blood uh-huh. and cow placenta. Yeah, you get me the best pregnant cow you can find, and you you cut that cow open and you take out the placenta. You know why? Because Chow needs a new hammock. I need a new hammock, baby. We make Daniel we make, looks is that confused. What the little, is that what the red things that they were yeah, holding? Yeah, they were yes. stretching out the the cow. Oh, okay. That, I guess that makes sense. I just thought they were holding like shitty red nets. <laughs> That like can't that'll, the little that'll guy. catch him. Look, Chow don't play. Chow shows up. Chow catches cute little demon baby things. Yeah. But whatever. So that happens. But then now we got Dragon and the Doc climbing the Buddha statue. And they're falling apart and whatnot. The hand falls off. They almost die a couple times. They get up a little further. And then all of a sudden, 50 fucking monks show up. Well, they, they broke one of, of the fight. thumbs. Broke the thumb. They fucking Doc gets launched off the thing, and then he fucking Batman grappling hook gun fucking shoots back up it. Goes back up there, and then all of a sudden, Dragon's like, can we just have the eyes? Because, like, we're sick. And then the monster's oh. like, yeah, whatever. Oh, we're you gone. just... Oh. You wanted something. Okay. You, you just... And then we get up oh, there. Oh, okay. Should have said that at the beginning, probably. Yeah, but then Stupid tourists. Those monks are Nazis. What? What? You see the frickin' swastika on the Buddha head's <laughs> forehead? Everyone knows that's only for Nazis. That's a different, the symbol's different. You gotta look. No, no, no. Yeah, I know a Nazi Buddha when I see one. Okay, guy. Heads will roll. And bleed. The fucking, from the eye sockets. They, they, the neck is weak. They're trying to fucking cut the eyes out. They get the eyes out. Mark. This head's gonna fall off. The statue starts gushing fucking liquid. We get an Indiana Jones run and roll from the head. <laughs> that head would not have. Yeah, the floor was not sloped that much. The head would have not would not have had that much forward momentum. So it's like uh, yeah, awkwardly it rolling. It's Pac Man oh in it. It's going yeah, chomp 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 chomp. Yeah. <laughs> They're already running from it as it's rolling after him, and Dragon yells, "It's falling!" I'm like. Bitch, it done fell. Like, it's on the ground, like, running with us, like, rolling with us. Doc almost gets crushed, but there's a small gap. It's fine. We get out of there. Dragon tells Doc, eat the orb, man. Eat this big glowy orb. It does. It's fine. Then we get back to Chow. Well, we get back to Chow, but now the entire village is dead. Yeah, that's fine. Hate to see that. That keeps happening. Because every time we leave, everyone gets murdered. We stop coming here. People stop getting murdered is what Daniel's going to say. Mm-hmm. Accept your blood curse and just fucking die. But I don't know, man. We get back there. We're going through like, oh, everyone's murdered. People are gone. Now it's time for like a rematch. Okay, we need a rematch. We do. But this time, you know what? Maybe, maybe Aquila is a part-time werewolf. You ever think of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he had a sick metal claw, metal hand thing, and it didn't even use it. Yeah. I- well, he sh- did he not shirt rip? I thought he did a shirt rip. He might have had a shirt rip, but like within like 10 seconds of this fight, he falls onto old ancestor's coffin and old ancestor- ancestor's like, ah, meets me. But yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't eat him. But it, something happens to him. He's just, he just gets he, thrown off the, off the coffin. No, no, he gets thrown on the coffin. The coffin's a little bit open. Old ancestor reaches in, pulls him in and then shuts the lid. They're having some alone time. They need to talk oh, I this must out. I think I just missed that. And then the well, coffin comes off and starts me. following them for reasons. Yeah, the yeah, coffin yeah. flies after them. Oh my god! And then the, the thing opens and an old ancestor does a sick fucking flip. Oh yes! Out of the co- oh no! And then Kenny. he stands there for a second and then he fucking he falls. Yes, that's it. Yes, yes. It's like he keeps turning on and off. Like he's not always there. I we took it as uh, he did this. You know, the sweet jump, flip. Land, nailed it, oh man, and then he crumpled because he broke his shins or something, you know? It's just great. Because he's all, he's, it's these bones, he's just all bones. He's old it's ancestor. Like, he got the judges' scores and then he gave out. Like, That's pretty much it. Stop landing and then just drop. And now he's going to get the full creature turn, and now he's like a giant fucking Batman. Hell yeah. And uh, he's flying around, Dragon and Doc are trying to kung fu him. That's not fucking working. Uh, well, but they're holding their own. So if this was made today, that would all be CG, and it would l- and it would be, be it would be worse. It would be way, way, yeah, way it'd, worse. It'd be, it'd be horrible. Some help shows up, does some shooting, but these are all nobodies, so they get fucking tore up. He crushes them like they're nothing. He's ripping into people. He's smushing heads. Oh yes. Why didn't he just do that to Dragon and the Doctor? 
no. dragging the dock or engaging their core. So they're getting yeah. their abs nice and tight. So you can't just slice through them because they're hard. They're hard bots. But you know what we need? Monster versus monster. Yeah, monster we've turned it. Monster. It's our friend now. Hey, yeah. yeah, we've captured Demon Baby. We fed it. We said, hey. Ooh, look, you, you know, know what they did? Now. They did a classic persona uh, demon negotiation. And now this demon <laughs> works for them. Classic switcheroo. It's like, hey, little baby demon, are you tired of being touched inappropriately by old ancestor? Yeah. Well, let's fucking get him, dude. Let's get him. <laughs> they fucking turned the baby demon loose on old ancestor. He I'm, fucking flies I'm over there. Right <laughs> he does. He beats the shit out of him. Old ancestor's <laughs> losing most of this fight. Oh, my God. But then they poor sweet little baby gets like crushed and torn in half eventually but you know what old ancestor weak as fuck now he weakened his, his uh, heart is exposed and chow de yong wong shows up or maybe his heart's not exposed till the first rpg hits yeah, him, Ch- actually. Uh, so chow shows up like ada wong with a rocket launcher shoots old ancestor now you say ada wong showed up like chow showed up because this is first Look, it's not first in my timeline though <laughs> shoots old ancestor and yeah his heart's exposed he's still alive but Chow has another RPG, so he just fucking shoots him again. Yeah, double tap. And he blows up. And Chow saved the day. Chow's the real hero here. But yep. oh no. Oh no. Time ran out on the other uh, monk eye orb, and we can't give it to Baja Blast. And so she'll have her ghost curse, which just means half her face is ugly forever. And she looks at Dragon and goes, well, could you still love me? And Dragon's like, yeah, duh. And then <laughs> I don't know what. Bitch, that bod be rocking. Now, remember, the thing here says there's actually three different endings to this movie, so I don't know which one you guys got. So that was mine, and then Chow says to one of the other characters, he goes, beauty lies in one's heart, and then the credits just pop up. Okay. And, and I was dying laughing. So that it's, was the ending It's where beauty lies, so. It is. I got the ending, so they say that line, and then they cut to this Hong Kong man in a chair who I don't remember ever seeing before with two beautiful ladies behind him and the camera pulls back and we have chow is playing mr wesley so we got wesley and dr young and they're they they're in their best tuxedos and they they clink clink glasses glasses. they're smiling and i'm just like yes baja will always be scared happy cheers (laughs) 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 and that's where my movie ended (laughs) that's fantastic daniel did you have one of those two i had ryan's what the fuck mine sucks (laughs) well Mine makes no sense, but it's fine. <laughs> well, then what's... I, I gotta find the third. Let's see here. Okay. In the original theatrical release, after the monster killing climax, there's another by the pool party scene, same as the pool scene in the beginning of the film. That's supposed to be another party in which Maggie Chung's character kind of makes up with Dr. Yin, Wan, whatever. Then we cut to the original party scene that starts off the movie with Dr. Wan, Wesley, and Ai Hong who's the real author, I guess, was in this movie, and a bunch of beautiful girls. As the author finishes telling the movie's story to the girls, one of them asks if he has another adventure story to tell. The author replies, well, we have to see what exciting adventures Dr. Yin and Wesley are going to have. The two main characters come into frame, toast, and finish their drink. I Is like that the that one you one. had? Well, I, part of it, right? It sounds okay. like that's part of what we saw, Daniel. That was the theatrical one. The first video release, the last two scenes were completely cut out. So the very last close up to Baja Blast. Instead, it's replaced with a two shot of her and her lover while the credit ends. And then, let's see. I don't know. There's some weird changes that are made here and there. But um, I like that they thought they were going to straight up make more like with this cast and whatnot. But I don't think Chow came back to the series. Chow might have played Mr. Wesley a one more time, one or tw- two t- more times. Well, let's see here. Maybe. So after after this one, make it so was the legend of Wesley, which you would think that'd be the one that would have him in it because he's Wesley, right? But that was played by Samuel uh, Who? Who? Exactly. That sounds great. And now following that one, we get Y C L Z Ba Wong Jai Ja. Nailed it. No plot for that one. That was ninety one. Following that one, in 92, we get The Cat, Meow. which is a cat from outer space teams up with a young alien girl and her knight, I'm sorry. along with an adventure novelist named wait. Wesley to fight a murderous wait. alien that possesses people. Hold on, wait. 
What? Yes, yes, Daniel. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Do you understand okay. why I need to find these books? <laughs> okay. now, Wait, hold. What? Huh? Let's see. What follows the cat? Following the cat is Miss, uh, Wesley's Mysterious File, 2002. Wesley, a special agent investigating extraterrestrial sightings, hot okay, on the so trails of a female a, alien a special looking agent. for her brother. He and his partner uncover a government conspiracy involving human experiments with two different alien species. Now, as far as I know, this is the last in the series from 2002. So, and, like, this, I'm, this might not be the last time we dip our toe into this universe. But I want to watch the other weird Chow movie from 1986 called The Witch from Nepal, which is, I believe, Chow's our main person here. And it's a Hong Kong man vacations to Nepal where a local tribe imbues him with magical powers, which he must use to fight a growing evil. Why don't they infuse the powers in someone who, who like, already lives there? I, look, I can't, I can't give you that, those answers yet, but one day maybe. Oh my god, this movie was so fucking good, you guys! We Look, this is our first movie after the Friday, like, stuff, and we, uh, up banger. I'm so, this, this brought me joy, whereas most of that series brought me sadness. It's the, yes, the yin and the yang of horror movies, right? Oh my god, this was so fucking good, you guys! This should have won every Oscar that year! Why wasn't it nominated? The Oscars are pointless. How did this not get, like, some American, like, I'm gonna buy this fucking poster. I will find this the poster, poster and be on my wall. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. it is so good. I, I will make the poster the episode art so people can see it. This movie's so fucking good. You guys like this movie? Yep. I liked this it. This movie got... A 6.6 out of 10. I can't believe it's not a 12 out of 10. (laughs) There's no goofs. It's literally a perfect film. (laughs) It's perfect. Do do I need to add a category for I'm pretty sure no stuntmen were killed? Pretty sure. (laughs) (laughs) Pretty sure. Mostly sure. uh, I don't know. Okay, he probably didn't die, right? He probably just can't walk anymore. So. I Look. It could be worse. He could have bullets shooting out of his legs every well, time no, he but, has sex. That didn't actually happen, though. This guy but, actually got hit by the car. That did happen. No, that's movie magic. If it happened, they would have showed it in a fun way in the credits, like how Jackie Chan always showed oh, yeah, how he have, almost uh, died boops, at the uh, end. Spoo- uh, uh, what do you call that? The, the outtakes? Bloopers? Does this have outtakes? Bloop, 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 bloop. Nah, mine just, like, freeze frame for a while. Freeze frame. And then I had to go to the bath bathroom. <laughs> Well, you, you, mean, you mean you paused it and then went to the bathroom? Is that what you're talking about? No, we hit the credits. I'm like, okay, we got to record here in like five minutes and I got to go, you know, I got to go past my own sweet baby demon. Mm. Mm. Oh, this movie is so good. Go watch this movie. I, I can recommend other things, but really, I just want you to watch this movie. I, I would recommend Vampire Hunters. Vampire Hunters. I mean, if you want more little creature dudes, Basket Case or Bad Milo, if you want... Just outlandish, fun martial arts movies. Have you heard of Jackie Chan? Have <laughs> you heard of Jackie Chan? Or uh, Chow Yun Fat? Or perhaps even Jet Li? Are there are there any like s- any more movies like this that you guys know of? Like closer to this, other than the ones that we speculate are gonna Man, be Man, similar to Vampire this? Vampire Hunters. Uh, yeah, yeah. This movie is just—it's tough to. I want you to just watch this. So if you haven't watched this, just go watch this. And if you have watched this, watch this again. Get some buddies, get some brews, blaze it up if you're so inclined, and stay away from white women. Heard that. See, the way you said it makes it sound like like you stay away from our white women, right? And that's not okay. No, that's how you said it. <laughs> I'm saying it in a way implying that... Or you should stay stay away from white women who break into your apartment. I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna don't... just say in gen- stay away from women. Yeah, gentlemen, uh, protect your. This is Women's genitals. Month, Daniel. My God, no, it's not. Oh, okay. do we know what month this even is, though. Well, October, of course. October is Daniel's month, the that's spookiest of months. Oh shit, that's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. No, she it's not. Her, her tumor. <laughs> I'm pretty sure October is. Look it up. I'm pretty sure it's not. You look it up. Okay. T- tell me. Pretty sure it is. He's doing it. Yeah. Now that we know this movie exists. It's, oh shit! It's we're gonna we're gonna find it. We're gonna Wait. find the sweet sweet. There's th- there's gonna be more. What'd you Hold find? On one second, Ryan. Daniel has to tell me something. Yeah, it's October. Oh, here's the fuck. Ladies up and thing. gentlemen, Kenny here's... was finally right. <laughs> In the middle of October, there's also Breast Cancer Awareness Week. Well, that's when you double up. Why do you need that? that? You already got the month. 
Do you not realize how important breasts are? Well, you gotta get that titty berry. That's right. To solve the blood curse. You don't, those don't just grow on trees. Otherwise, they'd be called tree berries. What is that? <laughs> that noise? <laughs> what, the, what the fuck was that? Uh, you got a demon baby in your house right uh, now? Uh, my, my own personal uh, sorceress is, I think, tickling the demon baby. Mm, we've all been there. I like to get my demon baby tickled, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I don't. Go on. <laughs> well, 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 well. As always, I've been your horrible host with surprise RPGs, Kenny. Come on down to my baby juice factory. We've got <laughs> all the baby juice juices that you could maybe want. Maybe. Now with more pulp. Now with less pulp, actually. We oh, grind shit. them up so fine. <laughs> so fine. I'm, da- I'm Daniel. <laughs> I'm uh, no, I-, I got nothing after that. I'm Ryan. <laughs> He's fucking Ryan, which roughly translates to Ryan. Oh, did do you guys know my chi- my like legit Chinese name? You ready for it? Here it comes. I'm ready for it. Lie un. Lie ah. Oh. All you like did was lion. all you did was. No, that's not what all I did, Daniel. Let me tell you what they did to me. I came in. <laughs> I went to the building. I'm talking to the lady, and I'm like, okay, how about like. Okay, big mountain. Dashan is already taken by someone famous, so I can't but do you that. But you fucking name me like. Desert or, Eagle. <laughs> right. And they said, they said, nah, you, nah, what's your name? I said, Ryan. And they said, okay, your name, Lai Un. And I went, <laughs> you, have, you have crushed the soul of this person. So, but okay. so you were supposed to be able to pick and I, then they took that choice from you. Not, okay. My wife took that. You should have no, been. My wife was in on it. Everyone who came with me to do this little thing, they all said, You should have gone no. alone. What you, what you want to call yourself? No. You? What is You're a lion, no matter what. <laughs> you're what is, you're, what you're born mean? Orion. I'll and tell no you what, it what means. culture or, that's or dialect you're you speaking. You swap that R for an L. That, that's you all they do. did. You could have been Chon Wayne. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're right. I'm, I think I'm gonna stick with Lion. <laughs> you should have been Frank. 